Welcome back guys. I just had dinner so I might burp through this video and I love wearing hats but hats always sit funny on my head. I think it's because when I was born the doctor actually dropped me onto my head so then it kind of sits lopsided. Um, I'm glad I turned out alright though. Aren't you? <laughs> um, so anyways Today, we are going to write the search.js file in the app.js file. So, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your containers and uh, create this search folder. And inside that search folder, I want you to create a component folder for our app.js and another search folder. It's kind of like Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm a big fan of his. But, um, Regardless of that, in that search folder, I want you to create another file called search.js. So it's search within a search within a search. Man, I suck at I suck at naming things, but it makes sense to me. So that's what we're gonna go with. Um, so if you take a look here, a lot of this code is actually the same. Um, we're using the state. If you look in the profile that we had before. Go open that profile.js. You can see that a lot of the, that this state is basically copy and pasted from uh, profile.js. Uh, same with the goals and uh, the prop.user.user. It's exact same. But we're importing. That's also pretty much all th the same as well. Uh, we have our handler function, the gender change, the body change, um, the ethnic change. <laughs> the body type change. When I think of that, I just think of freaking plastic surgery. It's, my, my mind is so warped. Um, on drinker change, on smoker change, on relationship change. Remember that because we had some bugs in our last demo, we added several things, the goals change, um, and we'll probably add that later. But for now, we're just going to render the search, um, the search, screen and this is you know we're gonna get the profile name we're gonna do all these uh profile picture thingy majiggy so that's all pretty much the same as what we have in the profile we do the same exact dance and we do the exact same dance here in the form as well you just copy and paste it from the profile um using the using the options that the profile has provided so at the end of it, we have a save or a cancel. We're probably going to get rid of that cancel because it's a search screen and you don't need a cancel. So, but right now, let's just leave it as it is right now. The next thing I want you to go through, oh, and don't forget all this mumbo jumbo here. You want you to uh, export the default Redux form for search so it can be used with Redux. And aside from that, let's go take a look at app.js. I'm not going to discuss much of this because we went through it with user component app.js. It's the same thing. You actually just declare all the states that you're going to use, so like conversations, your user, your error messages, a lot of these things that we're not even going to use because they were imported from my uh, react.js web app. But things you will use will probably be the search criteria and again you're going to do this export function match dispatch the props and this will include all your actions that you have that you have going on with redux so not going to go into much detail about that because we already went through this kind of stuff before with uh with the user component app.js other than that this is a super short video because i'm trying to get into the habit of making one video a day. I have not been doing that successfully, but hopefully I can build that to a habit so then I could get going with cracking on these videos because we're going too slow. But uh, anyways, you know what I'm gonna say? Join that mailing list. Uh, and then please rate, comment, subscribe. It really helps. And I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.